I remind you, for those of you who have been talking to your character assassins, I've been awarded as a judicial judge for excellence in trial work, not only by the TOYM of the JCs, the TOWNS of the Lions, but many other NGOs. She is Miriam Defensor Santiago, a multi-awarded former trial court judge, a legal luminary, and a judge of the International Criminal Court. But Santiago finally finds her match. Private prosecutor Vitaliano Aguirre grabs the spotlight on day 26 of the impeachment trial of Chief Justice Renato Corona. It begins with another lecture of Professor Santiago to the prosecutors, this time for dropping five out of eight articles of impeachment. But even for Filipinos used to the feisty senator, her words on Wednesday are shocking. You are engaging gentlemen in a public discourse on the merits of your case. You're not supposed to say that at all. Santiago gets away with a comment with the prosecution only asking that it be stricken off the record. But little does she know, one lawyer has had enough and reacts in full view of senators and viewers. Senators ask Aguirre to explain, but the lawyer of Hubert Webb stands up to the dragon lady. But uh, the fact, Your Honor, please, that this is the first time that I experienced in my 40 years of practice na ang isang judge ay nagle-lecture sa mga abogado. Santiago fumes, but Aguirre has a message for the lady senator from Iloilo. I, I really did it purposely because totoo naman po na talagang shrill ang voice na, na nasasaktan ng tayong ako eh. Ang kuwang ko lamang po ay dapat po lamang na kahit ang mga senador, mga judges at kami mga hamak lamang prosecutor dito Ang pinakami-importante po sa isang tao ay respeto. Ang nagde-demand, kung nagde-demand ka ng respeto, dapat respetuhin mo doon itong mga Mr. abogado mo ito. Kung ayaw po makinggan, umalis ka sa korte. Aalis na nga po sana ako eh, kaya lang... Granted! If that is in the form of motion, go ahead! Nangahamon ka! Senators and prosecutors rush to defuse the tension and Aguirre is quickly escorted to the prosecution room. Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile keeps his cool, but agrees that Aguirre overstepped his bounds. I cannot tolerate any disrespect of this court. The Senate cites Aguirre in contempt, the first time the impeachment court uses its contempt powers. Senators will determine the penalty in a caucus on Tuesday. It is, it is very offensive and it is contemptuous and it is really a blatant um, example of what should never be done in a court uh, Parang ano, nakaka-insulto. Arrogante ba siya? Nakaka-insulto. And the way he answered, eh, quite arrogant. Prosecutors are sorry, but they say they understand Aguirre's sentiments. Yung sinabi niya, yung mga nasabi niya, uh, hindi namin yun anticipate. No? Uh, pagpapalabas na kayong damdamin, kaya nga sabi ko, we are sorry for uh, what happened. Pero hindi ko rin siya masisisi uh, sa kanyang ginawa. Santiago says she also understands what Aguirre did, but her theory is different. Sorry. No, I'm too old to take these things personally. I think it just has a mental disorder because, you know, a lawyer will never, never aggravate the judge. Aguirre refuses to face the media, but for critics and supporters alike, what he said and did were more than enough. She's Miriam Defensor Santiago. The senator says people already know her personality, but for Aguirre, even being Miriam Defensor Santiago is no excuse for disrespect. Ayi Makaraig, Rappler.